This new groundbreaking Transformers architecture from China could actually challenge all these US companies including OpenAI. One of the biggest problems with large language models is how do you scale these large language models? It's not just the number of tokens that you can keep on adding. One, the model has to understand the number of tokens that you add. Two, you should have enough compute to run the model in case if you have longer context. And this is the exact same problem that has been caused by the fundamental architecture of deep learning, these models, which is Transformers architecture. And there is a critical component in this Transformers model which makes these models actually good. One of the reason people started using Transformer instead of RNN is attention. And the same attention is actually the problem until now. Today, China's Minimax, a company that is known for its amazing video generation model, has launched a new approach. It's called Lightning Attention. Not just that they launched this new approach, they also open source a complete model in itself. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I know about Lightning Attention and why it is a game changer in the world of deep learning, especially for large language models with longer context window. First of all, even before we dive into to understand why Lightning Attention is such a game changer, we need to first address the elephant in the room, which is the limitation of traditional transformers. One of the biggest problems with transformers is that they have got a quadratic complexity problem. What does it mean? It means as you increase the length of the text, the input text or the sequence that you are giving it to the transformers for them to process, the computation requires grow exponentially. For example, just like very, very, very basic example. If you give three words and then let's say it requires like six compute, just for the sake of example. Now, when you give four words, now you are increasing the number of words unit by one, but instead of six, it's probably going to be like, let's say 36 or something like that. And this has been the biggest problem of scaling transformers up. And a lot of people believe that this has been the bottleneck for AGI. We do not know what is AGI, but let's say that this has been a bottleneck. So companies have tried different algorithms, including Mamba, a very popular architecture that we have discussed on this channel multiple. We do not know if Google has already done this with Gemini models with 2 million context window, but comes lightning attention. Lightning attention is faster than the traditional attention. And how is it happening? It's happening because it's trying to mitigate the issue with transformer, which is the need to compute attention score for every pair of tokens so for every pair of tokens that you give attention score has to be calculated by transformers and hence the quadratic complexity but instead of doing this in a way that scales quadratically lightning attention uses a new combination of linear algebra tricks i mean like fundamentals basics compute it linearly instead of quadratically it is going to compute it linearly that means you're not going to require a lot of compute and it can fit in the memory very well. So lightning attention is borrowed from an existing technique called transnormer and it is an optimized implementation of transnormer. Now, very briefly, if you were to see lightning attention has two main things. One is how it splits these things into the attention into blocks. So there is an intra block and there is an inter block. So you can see an intra block and then there is an inter block. And as you can see here, the intra block and inter blocks are actually computed separately. So if you go see the algorithm, the lightning attention forward pass algorithm, you can see that uh, for every turn. So first they calculate the intra block, then they calculate the inter block, and then ultimately the attention is calculated. And thus that when you increase the number of tokens, the computation is not quadratic. It is quite linear. And this is the fundamental reason why Minimax O1 has uh, successfully managed to implement a lightning attention and also and it is better than the traditional softmax based methods where you have a really strong compute requirement so you can see the requirement here so for the parameter count and the flops count and ultimately it's not just the architecture that the, makes this model really good with the new architecture, the model is also quite competitive with all the existing models. So for example, this model is on par, as you can see here with all the leading models. So the strong red line is the Minimax text O1 model. And uh, some of the benchmarks that they're seeing is like quite unbelievable. We have to test the model and then see, but purely from a new architecture basis, if you were to see, 
This model is better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet on MMLU. This model is almost like equivalent to Claude 3.5 Sonnet and if evil. This model is not so much better in GPQA, but on math, like it is kind of on par. Human level, which is coding, it is kind of on par. So this is not like a model that is like an experimental model. This is a model that has been open source in production and with a new architecture that can scale your model LLMs up to 4 million tokens. And in fact, what they've done is they have also done the needle in a haystack experiment. And they have figured out that even with 4 billion tokens, the model is not a breaking. It's, it's doing a good job in terms of retrieval, incrementally increase the model's context window. And then they saw if there is any problem with retrieval. And as you can see here, even with the longer context, there has not been a problem with the depth percentage the mo model can retrieve. So ultimately, this seems like a model that is really good, solid, a new architecture. And that probably can give all these models in the West a run for its money. But we have to test the models. I'm going to follow this up with a video where I get to test the model and then see how the model is performing. But the mere fact that we have got a modified version of attention, modified version of transformers that is in production makes a lot of people happy. And this could probably the moment that we have been waiting for in 2025. Let me know what you think about this model and also generally like how China is doing with AI. See you in another video. Happy prompting.